What's up guys, it's Big Red 77 back at you with a real quick video. It's late at night, past midnight, everybody's asleep, so I'm not going to get too bambunctious in this live reaction video. I have not seen the pay-per-view yet. I've stayed off my social medias because of it. Uh, if you saw me share things earlier, I shared it straight from the app. I would not get on social media just because of this reason. Um, now, I mentioned in my Sunday vlog, if you haven't seen it, it will be at the end of this video. There will be like a little clip to it uh, for you to click on and go to it. But anyways, if you have not seen it yet, um, I mentioned that, uh, you know, this is a different Big Bear when it comes to wrestling. As of late, wrestling's produced uh, garbage. Um, they botched the pay the last pay-per-view, so I'm not holding my breath for this one. I'm hoping it's a better pay-per-view, but, you know, it's what it is. I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm running out of uh, that hope and optimism where I'm coming out each week and trying to pump it up as best as I can. I'm at the end of those ropes. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys. I've I've started watching other other uh, other shows at times. Uh, you know, uh, Ring of Honor, TNA, um, things like that, or clips from New Japan Wrestling, just to see some good wrestling and some good stuff going on. Uh, it's just what it is. Uh, I don't know. Creative seems to not really be all there right now. I don't know. But anyways, let's get into this video. We're going to try it. Hope hope for the best, but uh, not expecting it. So we'll see. Uh, I may be shocked. Um, let's go ahead and get into the pre-show. Wow. Um, you guys know how I feel about the Cruiserweight division. I like it, uh, personally. I'm not a big fan of 205 Live as it is. Uh, all those guys fight for one title. I think, you know, have the Cruiserweights on Raw or SmackDown. Have them on both. And be the cruiserweight division guys eligible to fight for whatever titles they want. If they want to team up and go after the tag title, I think it'd be more interesting that way. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, uh, so not a big fan of uh, the cruiserweights, but uh, I thought that maybe tonight would be the night that um, Neville loses uh, the belt. He doesn't. He won. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, there was points of the match where it's highlight highlight real material. Um, but the majority of the match, it was, it just seemed off to me. And uh, the finishing, uh, the finish of that match just really seemed off. I don't know if there was something wrong at the end or what, but uh, it just, the finish killed it for me. Um, and I mean, that's what the Cruiserweight division has been since 205 got introduced, introduced flashy wrestling, uh, fancy, watch me, ooh and ahs. But, um, yeah, never won. Um, as far as the rating for this match, you know, there were, like I said, there were a couple highlight reels, so I'm not going to give it a one or a two. I'm going to give it a three. Um, the bo the botching at the end just killed it for me, though. Um, at least it was on the kickoff show. That was a better match. It was uh, Seth Rollins versus uh, Bray Wyatt. It was a better match, but still, just, I don't know, maybe I'm being, being too critical today, right? But, uh, what it is, uh, I'll give them a three and a half out of four, out of five, I'm sorry, three and a half out of five, but, um, just wasn't, it, it didn't impress me, it didn't make me go wow, it didn't, it didn't have all those factors to it, but that's another match in the books, uh, and, um, yeah, not doing so well on the predictions, but we predicted everyone except the last one is the same, the Universal title match is the only one we picked separate, so. That hasn't been the deciding factor, but here we go. Uh, Big Cast and Enzo Amore happened exactly like we expected. Uh, Big Cast dominance. Uh, there was no way Enzo was going to win, and there was no way he was even going to get any dominance. I mean, he showed a lot of fight, but that's about it. Um, Big Cast just totally destroyed him. Oh. And it was a cringeworthy match. I mean, I honestly don't make no sense. That match made no sense at all. Um, so far, yeah, I mean, after after you smacked that pay-per-view and now this, you haven't started off very strong, uh, I at least expected someone to come down, like a big show or something to start a feud, but no one came down, it was, uh, a, a two, a two out of five, um, yeah, I don't have much to say about this match. This is uh, another match is just pathetic. Um, 
Yeah, that's what it is. Not a bad match. It, it started off slow. It started off whatever. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus pick up the victory. Uh, four matches of three in the Iron Man match. Um, I mean, it was about ready to be tied, but the time ran out. Um, uh, probably, a, I mean, this was actually a pretty good match. I'm going to give them uh, a four after this match. Um, it was not that bad. It was as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I thought it was going to be totally terrible, but, uh, you know, this was the first good match of the night, really, in my opinion. Uh, let's see if they could bring some more out, but, um... Not bad, not bad. Uh, congratulations to Sheamus and Cesaro. Even though I picked the Hardy Boys, I wanted the Hardy Boys to win it. You know, it was a, it was a decent match. Especially so the ending, uh, near the end, uh, you saw some good stuff happen. Uh, the beginning, like I said, it was a little slow. But, um, a little better. A little better about this match. Uh, still not a big fan of the night so far, but uh, this one does a little better. So, um... That match was really good, and they, they were about ready to get given the four uh, four bears out of five. I, was, I thought it was a really good women's match. I don't like the finish. I don't like count outs at pay-per-views. Um, I just think it's the cowardly way of getting a win. Um, and I would love to see a great finish here. Uh, oh. Hold on, guys. I might raise this rating, depending on what goes on here. Sasha snapped. Sha Sasha has snapped. Banks is uh. Banks is understandably furious Wow, they're going to the table. Um, try to keep this under two minutes, and if I have to, I'll click it off and come back on at the end of this conclusion. Um. This rivalry is not over by far. Uh, I don't like the count out, but uh, is she gonna die? Wow! Wow! Off the now table. Uh, double knees. Wow, okay. You know what? I'll go back up to four. Uh, even with the count out. Uh, I really like that. Uh, Sasha snapping like that. Uh, that was pretty cool. So, four out of five after all. Not bad. Not bad. Well, give the assist to, uh, Bo Dallas. Uh, the Miz is still Intercontinental Champion. Um, a match that just didn't really do it for me. I just didn't seem like a guy excited the whole match. Plus, I mean, you got three extra people down there, and I mean, with Maurice putting the leg on the rope, and you have the numbers game is totally against Dean. Uh, Dean was set up to lose this match, anyways. Um, what it is, but the match just didn't excite me at all. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'll probably one of the worst of the Continental Championship matches I've seen in a long time. I'm just being honest. I just didn't excite me. Um, I'm going to give them three. Three out of four. So. I could continue on without even acting like I even knew what I just said a little bit ago. Uh, or when we record and just fake the reaction. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, I meant three out of five. Not three out of four. My bad. Uh, just thought I would put that correction in. Um, show hasn't been that great so far. So let's see what the rest of the show has to bring. But yeah, it's three out of five. For the Miz versus Ambrose match. Wow, the ambulance match. Uh, Roman Reigns, uh, Braun Strowman. That was good. Uh, <laughs> that was really good. Uh, I'll give him credit there. Uh, he just ran the ambulance into the uh, into the semi. Um, now we got an impromptu match as they're back there, whatever with the, with the ambulance. Uh, we got uh, Hark Hawkins versus uh, Slater. So uh, I don't know what's gonna happen here. We're not gonna do no prediction for it. Um, I predict Slater's gonna win, but that's what it is. Um, but that was a uh, that was a good match. Uh, I'm gonna give the Amnes match a four and a half. I'm gonna give them four and a half. That was a really good match. I, I really enjoyed it. I was entertained, and that's why I want to be entertained when I'm watching wrestling. That made this bad night a little better. So 
Yeah, let's go watch this match. Um, best part of the night, they didn't even finish watching the uh, Heath Slater match. They clipped it back to the fight department trying to get into the ambulance. Um, the Heath Slater match was a boy fest. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to give it a straight one. That's all. Um, it's an impromptu match, so whatever. But, um, they're still trying to get into the ambulance. They're using Jaws of Life. Uh, so... That's what it is. Well, I wasn't going to comment on this, but Braun Strowman walked away from the ambulance while stumbled away, uh, told him to leave him alone. Um, he's a tough man. Uh, <laughs> um, but I like the fact that you get to see blood a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Um, uh, the Hardys and now this. Um, but pretty good match. Uh, like I said, the ambulance match. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on with the ambulance. Not for sure if there's gonna be any more with them. Uh, I'll, br I'll bring in if it is, but um, let's move on to what's next. Uh, well, uh, um, Brock Lesnar retains. Um, I thought it was Mr. Mojo to be honest with you, uh, because because that's who I was gonna pick in the first place. But because I wanted to, to be a winner, I went ahead and picked uh, uh, Brock Lesnar, so I win. Um, that's how I got the win. Okay, guys. Uh, it may be cheap, but it's still a win. Um, anyways, this match seemed like it was quick. It was, like, rushed. It was, like, I don't know what to think of it. It was, it was a quick match, it seemed like. Uh, there was some good points. There was some bad points. Uh, not the greatest match of the night, of course. Um, uh, you know, after all this time of him holding his title as a part-time wrestler, it not being on pay-per-view after pay-per-view after pay-per-view, and, and then you give us this. Uh, let's see when the next time we get to see the title again, right? Um, it's what it is, uh, Brock Lesnar won. I'm gonna give them a three and a half out of five. So, um, I mean, it wasn't the worst, the worst match of the night, but it wasn't the best match by any stretch. So, um, three and a half out of five. Okay, guys, we're gonna get on out of here. Uh, in general, it was an average night. It's what we expect over the last few years uh, from uh, WWE, um, an average pay-per-view. Um, there were some really bad matches. There were some pretty good matches. Uh, in all in all, uh, I can't, under good conscience, give them anything uh, like a four or five. Uh, so I'm going to give them a three. Uh, I'll go ahead and give them a three and a half. Very close to a four, but three and a half. Uh, because there were a lot of bad matches, matches that just, just totally lost it. Uh, like I said, Sasha, the Sasha Banks match kind of won me over a little bit at the end when Sasha Banks lost it. The ambulance match was awesome. I loved it. Uh, and the tag team match, really. Uh, I mean, those were really the matches that stole the show. Everything else was just a bore fest. So, it's what it is. I'm going to get on out of here. Everything's down in the link below. Hit that like, comment, whatever. You guys know what to do. If you want to do it, just do it. And I'm going to get on out of here. I'm tired. It's, it's early in the morning. So, I'll catch you all later. See ya. Peace.